Fire, is that how you say it? Close? How was it? How do you say it? Okay. Hi, everybody. Does this work? All right. So I was, my name is Michael Pratt. I'm a CEO and co-founder of Pan Amplify. Pan Amplify? Pan Amplify. Can you guys hear me? I really hate microphones, and I have a loud voice. Really? I have a really loud voice on microphones. Hi. Um, Michael Pratt, CEO and co-founder of Pan Amplify, um, or Pan Amplify, as our gracious host likes to say. It doesn't really matter. So I was inspired before in the cocktail party um, to tweak the presentation just a little bit. And I want to be fast because this is not part of my presentation. But if anybody in here ever had a job that, had, was, that buried them in grunt work, like buried in spreadsheets and PowerPoint presentations and crunching data and making pretty graphs and all that sort of stuff as part of their job, this might appeal to you, or at least it'll resonate and touch a, a little bit of a nerve. So lofty, uh, lofty statement. We're building an intelligence system, and I'll explain what that is in a second, to eliminate that grunt work and transform the way people do their jobs, okay? This is the only slide I'm going to ask you guys to read. Uh, it's important, but I'll say it. But um, Harvard Business Review study uh, last year, data scientists don't scale. You can't scale that function. All you can do is hire more people, and that person doing that job is a 28-year-old with a college graduate degree or whatever is expensive, okay? So what's the problem? Six years ago, I co-founded and ran an uh, interactive marketing agency called Extra Sauce uh, with a fun, sexy name that we got while we were out drinking one night. And we did a lot of work for Coca-Cola and Smirnoff, and we built stuff for their marketing campaigns, and it was great, and it was fun. And all of our margin was eliminated by all the grunt work that we had to do to produce reports and collect data and transform the data and do our daily jobs. We ended up at the end of the day with no profit. And we thought, Man, well, this is awful. How do we get rid of this? We started building libraries of code to start reducing that and eliminating that. And one day we had an idea about two years ago, wait a minute, we got a product here. How do we get this to, uh, to market and, uh, and do something with it? This is a typical marketing campaign ecosystem. All the demand generation channels that any of you, any of you are familiar with in marketing, uh, with TV advertising, display, et cetera, digital assets in the middle like an app or a website, uh, communications channels, social, et cetera, email campaigns, PR, business outcomes on the other end, all sitting on top of an analytics platform like Google or Omniture. This is every our marketing campaign that ever existed. There is so much grunt work associated with just reporting on this stuff that it's burying the people that have to do the work who are called agencies, which we're a part of. That's where the idea came from. So how, do you, uh, how big is this problem? Well, there's 120,000 agencies in the United States. 11,000 are classified as medium size, with about 100 brands that they service. And uh, eat, they are spending about 12 hours a month on each of those brands doing this grunt work, like we were doing. Okay? The rest of the agencies are small. And there's about 500 that are classified as large, like Ogilvy and Saatchi and Saatchi, et cetera. So it's a big problem. It's a $3 billion problem in and of itself. How do you fix this problem? All right, you can hire lots of people. That's not a very cheap solution, and that's the only thing available to folks right now. Or you can build an intelligence system. What the heck is an intelligence system? It's actually a classified name for part of the artificial intelligence community. Google just released some details on its deep learning system, which is another sub-segment of artificial intelligence. They scan millions and millions of photos and tell you what a puppy is. That's hard to do and really important. An intelligence system's not quite the same thing. They're used in like harbor and port operations to help the transform uh, the uh, movement of, of uh, containers in and around the port onto trucks off of ships. That's not scanning millions of photos and identifying the puppy. It's a smart system that's like smarter than a monkey, but not as smart as a rocket scientist. That's what an intelligent system is. We took that and applied it to the grunt work that we were doing. So the system had to have that idea of what it was up to and what things meant. If you ask an intelligent, uh, excuse me, uh, the deep learning algorithm, how did you identify that puppy? It'll say, well, factor 642 had a result of 36.9, and that's what told me that it was a puppy. Nothing wrong with that, but there's no meaning in that to the human. In order to make an intelligent system, we automate the data collection, we automate the data processing along with that collection, and we automate the reporting that goes with it by knowing what the system is about. That 28-year-old analyst 
who has to take all that marketing information and produce a report for their client knows what a tweet is. He knows what a Facebook post is. He knows how much data he has. He knows what the report needs to look like. Is it a line graph or a bar chart? He knows all that. That's the model of the system. Most of that is grunt work for him to be an analyst that he was hired to be, or she. This is an example report uh, of something live that we did. It was about, t it's about 10 months ago. There were uh, eight data feeds from uh, the demand generation side of it, including TV and display. There were two analytics systems that it was sitting on top of, and there were 15 KPIs in the top right. There was a lot going on. Um, one button press, the system knew 80% of what that analyst wanted to do. And instead of tens of thousands of dollars a man hour spent, it was 100 bucks, which was we charged. Uh, I guess my time is up. Is that five minutes? We're crap. We're hiring, all right? I need to get that out there. We are hiring developers. That's what we're doing. If anybody needs to know that. So, sorry. Questions? Anything? Not even a heckle? Congratulations on the 1.1. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. You can raise money in Dallas. There is money available. I swear to you. So, with your automated service, how many jobs in America do you eliminate and how many do you create? Not one. We don't eliminate one job. That's very, thank you for that. That's a really good question. We augment the analyst that, whose grunt work we're doing for him. We don't replace him. We're not a robot that's doing a spot well on a car. We are, if you had someone come in and when all that grunt work you had to do and said, I'll pay you, I'll give you, a hundred, if you for a hundred bucks, I'll do all of it for you. You would, have, you would have dug deep into your pocket and given them 100 bucks. You would have still done your job, but you wouldn't have had to crunch the data to make the spreadsheet, right? So we're not eliminating that job. We're augmenting it. We're giving it superpowers kind of thing. Thanks for asking that. But when you free up those resources, they're not going to... They're not going let, to let people, let people go? So take a while guess what they do with the fact that uh, they're not spending all those hours doing all that. They increase their capacity, which increases their revenue, because they can handle more jobs, do, service more clients, do all sorts of stuff that they weren't able to do before. And, and serve Facebook more. So. Pardon me? <laughs> and serve Facebook more, creating demand. The brand is the one buying the advertising. I can't stop that. That's what they do. But this is the first segment we're starting to uh, hit. The problem exists in, in wealth management and financial services too. Data, model, reports, stuff, grunt work, 28-year-old college graduates cranking it out. Very expensive. Do you see this as, um, I guess a couple questions. There's some reporting tools out there like Raven Tools and whatnot. Sort of how does it compare to that? And do you kind of foresee it, is it more API driven? Is it I'm just like creating modules or like if the, you know, sort of what, what would be the interactive piece of like how would I set it up personally for, you know. When the I is you're a user? Okay. Is that, I'm asking you, so you said how would I set it up? You're a user or you're a? Yeah, I work for a digital agency now and I don't know, and I, yeah. He's we, not a plant, I swear. No, I know, so we, it's like, yeah, it's how do you, I know what you mean. So it's, it's um, you know, is it me setting up kind of a, I want to pull X data, like how much is it do I create or how much is it kind of off the shelf, it automatically has this dashboard and? Excellent question. So uh, the question was how do I use it as an agency user? You've, you're running a marketing campaign. You know the demand generation channels. That's producing data. You're either going to upload data files or you're going to put logins into the system to say that's where my data lives. You're going to say I'm running a contest or a branding operation or whatever. You're going to describe what your objectives are. Anybody in here that's ever run a marketing campaign, if you say, I'm doing a contest, doing TV ads and display and Facebook, they go, oh, well, you probably care about this, 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 and this. And they go, yeah, I do, but at our brand, we care about that and that as well. You say all that, the system goes, this is probably what you want. It, it, your, your onboarding takes 15 minutes. How, long, how fast can you type in logins and upload data files? It does the rest by understanding what you're trying to do. It's not analyzing your data. It doing your grunt work for you. Uh, I, I should have a question about your pricing. You said a hundred dollars. Is that for right over here? Is, is that for? Is that like per seat or? And, and then also, uh, it sounds like there's quite a bit of implementation. Are you outsourcing the implementation to the marketing users or the agencies and saying, here's the platform, go hook it up? Or are you guys? Is that part of your service? Uh, we don't outsource anything. Um, it's all SaaS. It's all uh, you just. The user logs on and, and, and inputs what they're doing, and it does the rest. It's charged per brand. 
install. So an agency, a medium-sized agency has 100 brands that they service on average. That's 100 separate customers. You can have as many users as you want. The per user model doesn't work. Uh, the amount of the ad spend doesn't work. Um, it's, it's per uh, brand. All right, thank you.